to a gotta reply to a day planner girl. Yeah, I gotta reply to some day planner pussy real quick. <laughs> <laughs> gotta make sure I'm in her fucking schedule. So yeah, man. <laughs> Bro, it was so fun. She dead ass scheduled me in. Dude. Like a day ago. <laughs> we, like, <laughs> like what? Like twelve to two? Fucking. She like she she's she scheduled a whole night for us. We had like a checklist and everything. Oh, Jesus. I know. It was pretty intense. What was, what was on that checklist? All right. So there was uh, <laughs> Okay, hold on. Before we get to that, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh we're here with Ernie Hart, um musician, rapper, artist, uh hentai enthusiast, um <laughs> a connoisseur of hentai. Yes. Um yeah, everyone give it and wherever you are in your uh, cars and your fucking homes, if you're whatever, just big round of applause and um yeah. Um, all right, so what was on that checklist? Oh, on the day plan of pussy check. Uh, <laughs> okay, so for just <laughs> to give a little back backstory to that. So Ernie had this little TikTok that's kind of popping right now where he was like, uh, here, fuck it. We'll just, but I don't think I can live without it. And it's it's just pretty much, it's just like, uh, so like I'm addicted to this. Addicted uh, to this. It's just pussy from a girl who keeps a day planner. Psychological and basic needs. Let's <laughs> <laughs> keep it real. <laughs> okay, so she schedules you in, schedules the whole night. What's yeah. on that checklist? So uh, I've been hyping up Castle in the Sky, the Studio Ghibli movie, for so long. The what? Studio Ghibli, bro. Studio Ghibli? You know, they made, like, My Neighbor Totoro, um, Princess Mononoke, <laughs> Spirited Away. <laughs> I have like, absolutely no idea what's oh, happening. Dude, I'm putting you on. So okay. They're all on Netflix. You got to check it okay. out. So we had that on the on the uh, planner. We had a bath. Um, Ooh. I know. Damn, which one of y'all got a bath? <laughs> Me, bro. <laughs> is it a fucking, like, decent bath? Or it's what? a very decent bath. And Shit. my roommate is like, he's got, like, Epsom salts and oh, lavender fuck yeah, dude. and that's, what, that's how I do it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell Did yeah. it proper. Yeah. <laughs> uh, candles? You get candles? No. I got to get candles for next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it definitely adds to it. Go lights out with the candles? Oh, bro. You can't have, because, like, you do, you do all that shit, and then you just have, like, fucking... Fluorescent like, Yeah. It it is, kind of, it's it like, it, yeah, it's like an office light in there. <laughs> yeah. Especially fucking bouncing off that white skin. It's uh, not it's not great. No. <laughs> okay, and then after the bath? Uh, we did face masks. Ooh. Yeah. Damn. It was fun. Um, did... Did sex? Did sex? Did was sex. that was that penciled in? No, but kissing was penciled in <laughs> for how long? Kissing and snuggling was penciled in for. Was, was there a time frame for that or unspecified? Unspecified, just yeah. We're, we'll 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 free ball that one. Yeah, we free ball that one. <laughs> That's so fucking funny to just like yeah pop out the whole thing. Uh, schedule up. Yeah, it'd be so funny if it was just like yeah like it's time for sex and it was just like literally like. Just two minutes. <laughs> Best thirty seconds of my life. Yeah, bro. just yeah, just eight oh one to fucking eight oh eight oh one thirty sex. <laughs> just like yeah, well, all right, well, I don't know, kind of putting the pressure on me here. I got to last thirty seconds now. Oh my god. <laughs> just thinking about it all day. It's in the oh, it's in the planner. Fuck. Nah, I'll be desensitized. I'm like, there's no tentacles here. <laughs> okay, are you legitimately a, tent, a head tie fan? Or is it like a half a bit and, you know, half into it or what? Like it started as a bit and then you're just like, oh, shit, I actually think I might be into this. It like, it, it was never uh, ironic. Yeah. I like, I do, uh, I don't frequent it, but I right. do, I do enjoy it from time to time. Right. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever like um, watched an entire film before, no. but I've, uh, I think I've seen just kind of clips and I mean, it's, a, it's, you know, it's interesting. Dude, some of those camera angles are fucking wild. Like, yeah, they can get see, some angles. You see the inside, bro. That's fucking crazy. That's wild. Well, I've seen them try to do that with fucking people now. They'll fucking, like, put a can Like, I've seen it, I think. I'm pretty sure. Uh -oh. <laughs> Maybe it's not the, you know, health, like, you know, the cleanliest or healthiest thing, but um, I'm pretty sure they're trying to do it now. But yeah, maybe let's just leave it to the cards. Imagine, like, imagine finding out you're pregnant by somebody putting a camera up there, and then there's just a kid that's like, <gasps> yeah, it's, just, it's like, oh, shit, sorry, 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 fuck, oh, Jesus Christ, we were trying to cross way too many porn categories, we were fucking trying to hit, like, Oh, I guess it wouldn't. They would have just found like out submarine. she was pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. Submarine pussy. Like earliest selfie ever. Youngest selfie. The youngest self. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty yeah. sick. And fucking pop off on Twitter like that, that a selfie with Ellen. 
Oh. That everyone was just like, oh my God. That fucking, when she like, I don't know, she took a picture at like the. Oh, at the Oscars. Yeah. And she like broke Twitter. Yeah. Like everyone's just like, every, yeah. Everyone's just like, oh my God. Like the most seen selfie in the world. Yeah. But it's, except for that, it's just a, a fetus that, <laughs> that they found while <laughs> making a, a porn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, so if you were, okay, let's say, let's say somebody's wants to dabble in the, in the hentai game and you know, they're nervous. They're like, I don't know, like, um, I don't, I don't know, I don't want, I don't want anything too weird. I don't want like, you know, people are like worried about like their fucking Google search history, even though like, come on, uh, you know what, what, come on, what does it matter? Um, where, 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 where would somebody start? Oh, uh, you gotta go to the hub. Yeah, of yeah. course. Pull up the hub, Pull and then the hub. what? And what do you type in? Just flat out, just hentai, and then. Well, if you were, I learned about this one um, when I went to Fan Expo with Peter. Yeah. I went around interviewing, like, like in the anime section, I found, like, a bunch of, like, 16-year-old dudes. <laughs> and I was just, like, I just walked up to them. I was, was like, like oh, these up? guys watch fucking it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, one of them was wearing an Evangelion shirt. What's that? Who's that? Ne- like, Neon Genesis Evangelion. It's, like, this anime on Netflix. Okay. And it's, like, it's actually wild. Like, yeah. the guy who made it. Uh, had to check himself into a mental hospital after finishing the show. That makes, you know, that checks out. Oh, yeah. And then the last <laughs> two episodes, like, nobody knew what went on, so they had to make a movie to explain the last two episodes. <laughs> He's just so great. It just doesn't even make sense. Was he doing, like, was there not more people involved in the show where they were just like, hey, dude, like, this doesn't make any fucking sense? I think at that point, everybody was just so overworked. Yeah, they were like, just like, just like at this point, they were just like, I don't know, I think it makes sense. Let, yeah, let's I'm just get it done. Then that's, he, there's, like, scribblings that, like, hold for like five to ten frames and it's like just his drawing but it's yeah. like a scribble I'm like holy shit dude like <laughs> call your mom i don't know, <laughs> I don't know. go to sleep <laughs> uh, back to the hentai yeah so there's this one i heard about called overflow okay and i haven't checked it out yet i might i might gotta check it out tonight. it's like a series i don't know i think so all right we gotta see we got it yeah fuck it okay overflow overflow Overflow. And that's something that's like pretty safe to search too. And, and you're adding hentai though. Overflow episode six, hentai haven. Oh, is overflow is like its yeah. own. Maybe go on to the hub and look up overflow. I don't know. <laughs> is it uh, what? Just straight up, nice. <laughs> just straight up pulling up fucking. Porn. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> this is the first time on this podcast we've just straight up pulled up porn. Up. <laughs> uh, overflow, overflow hentai. Hell yeah! So is oh, there's only one. All scenes. All scenes. Seventeen million views. Jesus Christ. Real <laughs> song. We keep it real. <laughs> Went viral on the hub. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, hold on. I want a like description of what the fuck it is. Like, so what may, like, what is it just like a overflow is a Japanese. Okay. That's, that's not it. Is it? I don't it think so. games. Um, we're going to watch like the first episode or something. <laughs> the fl- that's the first 30 minutes of this podcast. We're like, just us <laughs> watching just this. like silent. <laughs> <laughs> we're just breathing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, you got it. Yeah. You're going to have to, we can't actually put that on YouTube. So, yeah, uh, that's fair. but, um, it's gotta be so much censoring in this fucking episode. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Maybe we could just, uh, we could just do the, you know, like the fucking blur over top. <laughs> I, I think they blur up. Do they, are all hentais blurred? Like for the certain parts? I think like, um, some of them are, and then some of them like are uncensored, which is, oh, that's the good shit. That's what you want. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't come here to, you know, and I mean like, bro, what are we doing with the fucking, we're, we're already doing all of this. I know. You already went through all this fucking work to, you know, make this shit. Yeah, like, you drew the lines. Yeah, <laughs> you drew all the shit, and then you cover up your work. You probably drew a beautiful dick. Yeah. Do you, you think anybody draws, like, purposely bad frames of the dick? Just yeah, they're just like, like, what does it matter? Right? I'll make a loop-de-loop on this one. Yeah, they're just like, ah, what does it matter? Nobody's going to see it. Then they're like, actually, guys, we're going uncensored with this one. The guy, the guy drew oh, fuck. Uh, um, okay, hold on. Let's see what this is. I need to get rid of one. I've got two ad blockers for some reason that do the yeah, exact same yeah. fucking thing. Just really don't fuck with these ads. Um, I don't fuck with you like that. <laughs> There's a whole ass story. 
Oh, nice. <laughs> just some, oh, the ad beforehand. Oh, my God. That fucking kid, that dude. Kid, He's a yeah. legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that child. <laughs> All right. The three of us are most are, oh, are not. Oh, I have watched this. <laughs> I have watched this. Living. Dude, hold on. This fucking screen. The three of us are not actual siblings. We are not related by blood. However, we get along together like true siblings. Damn right. <laughs> yeah, this is the one. Because there's an anime that I watched that's based off of this hentai. What? So they did a spinoff where they're just like, all right, well, people seem to be into it. What if we just like... Didn't have them fuck each other. It sucks. You gotta go straight from the anime to the hentai right after. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what the hell's going on here. They all, like, live together. Okay. So it just starts off as, like, a regular, like, hentai. Or a regular anime. It's, like, decent animation. Dude, this is, like, Yeah, they put some work. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like they made up. This girl's just fucking rubbing her breasts over in the corner. Just blowing holes while we're doing some. <laughs> the most gangster shit. <laughs> Sipping water. <laughs> All right, now they're at the racetrack. Dude, this oh, is dude, we gotta get that jiggle physics. Yeah, jiggle <laughs> physics. Let's go. Why is there a note the on the fuck? track? Nice tits. Nice. <laughs> that would be so funny. He just stands up and he's just staring at her like across the fucking thing. Holy shit. Oh my god. Did she just abandon the race? Anicha. You're clinging a bit too much. Spelt with a K. Yeah. Nice. Dude, she won! She's fucking baller. Holy so she, shit. Dude, this is this is ridiculous. It's all that fucking up. <laughs> yeah, and then they just start fucking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Let's get some schoolroom sex. <laughs> what was the point of that scene before? <laughs> story. <laughs> just backstory. <laughs> What's with this unusually <laughs> heavy atmosphere? <laughs> Dude, classic anime. <laughs> yeah, the, behind the head. So, yeah, Karimono Kyoso no Tokino Odaite Nandatanda. No words. She wants to fuck. <laughs> this is insane. Kotone. Oh. We're on episode six. Of course, she's interested in you, dude. Yeah. What? Huh? <laughs> 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 All right, where does it? Oh shit! Oh no! Oh yeah! Oh here uh, we go! Oh yeah! They they start going. Start going like right there. It's like a YouTube <laughs> video, like. <laughs> Get it, son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of the things about hentai is like they talk so much. Yeah. Like they talk about the feeling. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's just descriptive as fuck. Yeah, there's the blur. Yeah. It's so wild, dude. You can't see, like. <laughs> Oh, come on, dude. Fucking Stop rubbing it against that. Oh. Like marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> Your what ass the cheeks, fuck? they are sm they are smooth and soft as marshmallows. This feels good. <laughs> nice. This feels good. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I hope it does, partner. That's so fucking funny. Oh, my God. I love that. That's hilarious. I can get into that where it's like, I mean, that's not different from like, you know, fucking like euphoria. Yeah. Yeah. They're You've been watching they're, euphoria. I've seen, I saw episode one and then five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> what happened to two or three? I don't four. know. I don't know. Yeah. I was like, I just, I want to think I watched the first one, uh, with my girlfriend and then mm. I just, I don't, like, yeah. And then, and then she was just like, Oh, like the new episode came out. And then it was like episode five. I'm like, all right, yeah, put it on. And then, I was like, all right, well, I get it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. I don't need to see all the... Apparently, I missed the one where there was like a thousand dicks. Did you watch it? 
Nah, I oh. just hear all about this shit. Yeah, apparently there's an episode. It's like either episode two or three or something where there's just literally just thousands of dicks. It's just nice. like the, the <laughs> nice. <laughs> like the episode is just mostly dicks. I think. What the fuck? <laughs> like as far as people describe it, dicks are just falling out of the sky and it's just like, just coming across oh the God. screen. Is it like uh, you know the Snyder cut has like twenty percent slow motion? The what? The Snyder cut of like uh, that Justice League movie. I don't the, know anything. It was like a cut that the original director made yeah. and like 10 or 20 percent of it is just slow motion you think like 50 percent yeah of that it's just, it's just all slow motion dick hell yeah. yeah no fucking pixelates like on that that yeah, is full full, <laughs> full dick but yeah this is just anime fucking like euphoria pretty nice. much and then they just you know they start fucking somebody pulls their tits out i can i can see how this is a like is this the only one that's kind of like that uh i think they're mostly like yeah see like it's like in the house and shit but the okay. anime is just literally like it's this dude who lives with two girlfriends called Girlfriend Girlfriend. Not, uh, <laughs> on the nose. <laughs> it's a good title. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, holy shit. Well, all right. I mean, that's, you know, so, so you know, you're not, that's not your like full thing. But then, you know, sometimes, sometimes the mood will just strike and you'll be, you'll be like, you know what? I want to watch some, you know. Some Japanese cartoon people. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> that's, it's, it's honestly pretty funny. I don't know if I could see, but like, I don't know if I can get past the, the, the like humor of it <laughs> to like actually get like <laughs> to that point. Yeah, that's true. And I think, <laughs> I think part of it is like, we're both comedians to, like watching hentai together. Yeah. So it's like, we're like busting its balls. A little yeah. Bit yeah. Yeah. But if you're alone, you're saying, uh, you know, busting my own balls. <laughs> my balls are busted. My balls are busted. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> That's such a strong, like, start to the episode. Like, that is fucking. Immediately, it's immediately let's watch hentai. Like, right into hentai. <laughs> <laughs> that's honestly the, my favorite, like, part to any podcast I think I've ever done. That's, Hell yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. Um, all right, we'll, uh, we'll, do, we'll do a pivot. <laughs> we'll do a hard pivot. Okay, so you told me yesterday. Mm hmm. That uh, you were a rapper, mm -hmm. and uh, I fully expected, um, straight up for, I'll be honest with you, I, I expected your music to suck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just grew up in, around enough, uh, white rappers. just white kids that well, not even white rappers. Cause like, they're just like, they, they loved rap and they wanted to rap, but they also wanted to put no work into it whatsoever. And they were just like, I don't know why I don't have a rap career. And then they would just like freestyle, like just fucked up at parties. And then they would just like, there's always some guy that was just like, you know, fucking loved him. So he would just be like, Oh, Oh, just hyping him up. So then oh. he just like thought he was a good rapper. And then, uh, but they were just drug addicts and <laughs> but i actually I, so i started listening and i was just like oh shit you actually can like make music and rap thank you bro. <laughs> that's uh, that's fucking unexpected how long have you been doing this shit uh like since late late 2017 so oh my god coming on five years yeah holy fuck what you did you start off you're just like you know what i'm gonna download fucking free loops and then it just <laughs> it just spiraled. I started on Audacity. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh gee shit. Like yeah. I learned like I like got a bunch of like external plugins, probably downloaded so many viruses on nice. my laptop and just like started like mixing my own shit in Audacity. Yeah. And then eventually my buddy was like, Hey, you want to take this to a studio? Yeah. I was like, Yeah. So like he made me a beat and then we went to a studio and uh like I became like really good friends with the engineer there. I'm still friends with him to this day, but mm -hmm. like that day we recorded two songs. We recorded uh, Demon Love and it's a vibe yeah and like it's a vibe like it, we were in the studio and my i killed demon love in like 20 minutes i mm -hmm. think like because i just had it all written down ahead of time then we had three more hours because my buddy was going to record a song too but he just couldn't get the vocals so he's like fuck it so we had three hours yeah. and he's like hey if i made a beat right now you want to make two songs and then my engineer was like yeah i mean you guys paid for two songs so yeah so he just made the beat i wrote everything there and then just fucking like I had this hoodie on. It's like this pink hoodie that says it's a vibe on the front. Yeah. So I just like, I just threw that in and then like it, it became like a hood classic with all the homies. And shit. Yeah. That's fucking that. I was like, yeah, I was listening to that one. I will listen to like the majority of them. And then, um, yeah, I'm not going to lie. It was, yeah, it was, it was straight up surprising. <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah. So what else, what do you do? Like how like heavily are you into like still making it and like producing music? I like, I, I, yeah, I, Recently, finally took the plunge, bought a full suite of FL, oh, like, yeah. about a year ago. So I've been, like, 
kind of producing. Yeah. Like mostly like like engineering my own stuff in there. Yeah. And like just hustling that. I actually, if you want, I could show you an unreleased track. Oh shit. Okay. Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. We All get right. to get to fucking get the behind the behind the scenes oh, unreleased yeah. shit. Oh yeah. What's that. your uh, what's your email? I can email it to you. And then, uh, um let's go. Aiden Sousa. So A I D A N. Hold up. Hold up. Hey. Uh, da, 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 da. When's Aiden the uh Sousa. Yeah. A I D A N. A I D A N S O U S A. Yep, seven at gmail.com. Gmail.com. I'm gonna make the subject is balls. <laughs> Perfect. Very important. <laughs> All right, let's see this shit. I don't know where it's sent from. So Nerdy Oh Nerdy Vlogs. Oh hold on. Okay. I got it here. Uh oh. When did you make this? I made it like you wanna play it like on the speaker so it comes through to yeah. on the podcast? Okay. Yeah. Um I made it like I started working on it maybe a month ago. And then I just like I, I recently like started fucking around with it a little bit more, adding some and did you do the stuff. full thing, like, ma- like made the beat, fucking like everything, or? Uh, I got the beat online. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna pay the dude. This producer is pretty hard. His name is Levels. Shout out Levels. Shout out fucking Levels. Do you actually like n- like know who the person is, or you just just found him? I just found him. Yeah, I was like, this shit hard. This shit mega gas. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I pull up, 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 yeah, 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 ah, yeah, ah, ah, yeah, I pull up in fast car, watch it zoom, top down, ask me what I'm sipping on, I tell you, get the fuck out, all my diamonds dancing with my homies, wanna rock out, I got hella bullets in the crystal, do not talk. From the east? From the east, baby, Toronto. You're from Toronto? Yes, sir. Oh, shit. How long you been out here? Uh, about a year and a half. No, oh, like fuck. a year and a bit. You actually grew up in Toronto? Yes, sir. Well, like, grew up in Toronto when I was really young, and then I moved to a town just outside. What town? Caledon East. Nice. Everybody's always like, you can't claim Toronto. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, I was, born, I was born in Brampton. Oh, no freaking way. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. Yeah. Okay, so I know, I know Caledon East. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, I was born in Brampton, and I fucking lived up in, like, Collingwood. Damn, yeah. son. Freaking Collingwood, dude. Blue yeah. Mountain? Yeah, dude. You already know. Real fucking mountains. Yeah, None of this man. pussy shit yeah. out here. Fuck Whistler. <laughs> Fuck Whistler to Cypress, all this bitch-ass fucking mountains, dude. Blue's where it's at, bro. Dude, Blue's actually so much fun. It's fucking, it's honestly not bad. It's a yeah. good time, and especially, like... I don't know, like, if, these mountains are fucking massive. So if you're trying to do some, like, legit shit, but if you're just trying to, like, you know fuck around and like have a good time and just like go like you know ski or snowboard blue's like a it's like a good sized fucking thing smoke some weed yeah yeah exactly yeah, yeah. you can just you know it's not you're not gonna be worried about fucking dying like <laughs> yeah, dude my little brother's almost died on the hill eh on on blue really yeah because like it was like it was like summer of uh 20, 2020 i think and um they went there like with some families because uh, their friends had like a B and B up there, mm-hmm. and they were riding dirt bikes down the friggin' mountain. Fuck! And uh, this one kid, he's like super young. He was like slower in front of my little brothers. They're like twins. They're like seventeen now. Okay. So they're like fifteen, sixteen. Yeah. And then, um, fuck, the, Mikey, one of the twins, like just 
tried to get out of the wake of this slow kid and his bike just fucking turned over. And then on a totally other note, like like unrelated, Stevie just fell too. So they're both like, they're just, just some twin shit. Yeah. He's, just, he's like, oh, I gotta go down too. All right. <laughs> just throws himself <laughs> off the bike. We in this shit together. Yeah. yeah, they were both concussed, got scraped the fuck up. Oh, they, dude, fuck. they look like straight out of Ukraine, bro. Yeah, they just yeah, they just fucking <laughs> yeah, walked into the walked to the hospital. They look like yeah, fucking war. War is torn. torn, but um, yeah, man, I, I, one of my homies got, actually got fucked up bad on blue, Fuck. but I mean, they were, they were drinking Ooh. and, uh, and doing some skiing Ooh. and, uh, yeah, dude, he got fucked up pretty bad. He was like fucking in a coma for a while, Ooh. like f- fucking like shattered his femur and shit. So like, he was like, yeah, pretty lucky to be alive. Like, yeah. yeah. Blue, blue, blue will get you. And I mean, that's, yeah, that's a small ass fucking mountain, if you want to call it yeah. that. As well, have you, like, did, did you snowboard or ski or anything? Yeah, I snowboard. Did you, have you gone, like, since you've been out here? Yeah. Where do you go to? Went to, went to Wiss in the uh, dinner time, in the winter time. <laughs> In the dinner time. <laughs> in the dinner time. <laughs> it was around six o'clock. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> It was fun. Yeah? Yeah. It was it? No, I fucking literally, I snowboarded my whole life because I lived right there and then I came out here and haven't gone once. I'd recommend. Yeah? Is it like, I don't know, is it like, is it fucking completely different because it's such a big ass mountain? Yeah, it's a lot more work on the legs. Yeah. Like so much more. And like to get down the whole mountain is like, a solid like hour if you're gunning it. Fuck, man. See, like I don't know. I don't know if I love it that much. I feel like I'd be so bored. If you're with the homies, it's yeah. a good time. Like we yeah. dude, we went to the top, like to the tip top, and there was like a huge wind snowstorm oh, happening. God. Felt like that mission in Modern Warfare 2, Cliffhanger. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Leaks over Roach. Let's go. Yeah. Like Fuck that yeah. Shit. That's a great fucking reference. Oh, Great, yeah. Greatest game of all time. Oh, <laughs> I replay that campaign like like once every three months. On what? On my PC. Oh shit! True, fuck! I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I can fucking you can. Do they still have multiplayer and shit online? I that? think so. I think they do. I think it's pretty dead. Damn, pretty. Come on, these people need to need to get it together, bro. You could still fucking call people out, tell them to come meet you. On, yeah, yeah. One v one rust. Oh like <laughs> shit, dude. dude. Yeah, dude. That was like the fucking man. That was the craziest shit in high school. Was just, dude. Just everybody would just go home and just immediately get on Modern Warfare Two and just oh, play yeah. it until you could go to bed and then just yeah, dude. The, whole, the shit would go down on fucking rust. Oh, dude. It was always on site. Yeah. Like that's where boys turned into men. Yeah, bro. And the, yeah. it was friendships were ruined. Friendships were made. It was yeah, like oh man. It was uh, that was a different time. That yeah, was, that was. I mean, just literally having nothing to do with, like, I don't like. We're we're probably supposed to be doing school and stuff. It's probably why you know none of us are doctors, but, <laughs> but, but we were just playing college because I mean, like, we would all like get home and then just immediately get on and then just play it. Yeah. And, like that's it all the time. You know, like the monolith, like how like across all cultures and like like time periods, there's like. This, the same story that's told, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like, same stories. I feel like everybody was just on some, like, monolith shit. Yeah. Like, everybody, like, all, like, tween boys were just, like, I gotta, I don't know why, but I have to play this game right yeah, now. Yeah, I know, <laughs> and it was, like, everybody. Like, there's, like, you, I, you rarely will meet a guy, like, in that fucking age range that yeah. was not was not banging Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, and it then ju- having their mom banged by, like, eight different dudes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, just me? Just me? Oh, shit, okay. <laughs> hey, Mom, hey, your mom's new friend. She had another one, like, last week. It's, like, it's crazy. Uh, okay, and then, hold on. I wanted to play you this. So, since okay. you make music, um, I just wanted to see if you kind of feel the same way as, like, this lady does. About, Whoa. About, hey, man. <laughs> Have some fucking respect. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think I see her on these days. <laughs> Music alters physiology. Those contagious, euphoric, rhythmic beats that arise. Finding the melody in them and allowing them to emerge in movement and dance. Music alters psychology. What is otherwise impossible is totally probable, moving in those contagious, euphoric melodies that arise of oneself. 
<laughs> she did do, a lot of ketamine. <laughs> do, you, do you do you share a similar philosophy of music? Um, What's your philosophy of music? Like dead ass. Sure. All right. I just like. I mean, I don't think I don't think you're gonna top that. But no, I can't, I can't beat her. She's like you she, have not done nearly enough ketamine. I know. I gotta get my numbers up. Dude, yeah. I got rookie numbers. Zero. So. <laughs> That's very rookie. Yeah. Um, I think my philosophy with music is just like. You got to like make what you make what you love. Like, okay. even if that's not like, like I, I make a lot of shit that like I don't release that I just like, like yeah. I, I make like sex music sometimes. Dude. Oh shit. Like, what do you mean? I could send it to you. What kind this of is a beat I produce sex too. music? It's like, like, some, like some slow R and B shit you're saying? Oh yeah. Like, okay. Like a mix of like, it's like slow R and B trap. Oh fuck yeah, dude. That's my shit. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, aid and Sue, sir. Seven. Yeah, like, I, I don't know. I just, uh. Dude, my favorite fucking. Oh, I'm a massive, massive fan of fucking 21 Savage. He's my, he's my favorite. 21 goes fucking. Dude, hard. he's so funny. Yeah. He's so funny, bro. And he, he's my favorite fuck. Like, one of my favorite lines is just like, uh, he just says, like, pretty much something about, like, uh, I got, like, tat. He's like, yeah, I got tattoos on my face, but I like R&B sex. Yeah. yeah. That's my shit. <laughs> Dude, that fucking album that Morgan Freeman narrated on. Yeah. Unreal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, let's see. So this is just this is just a beat? Oh, it's uh vocals too. Oh shit, this is a fucking sex unreleased sex song. Unreleased sex song. I've been thinking about releasing it, but I wanna like I wanna like mix it a little bit more, throw in yeah. some more spice to it. Oh shit. All right. The loop is in mine. The production, like everything else, is mine. His latest over top is some overflow. Oh yeah, dude. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> People be fucking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Very sexual. Oh yeah. Oh hell yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, yeah dude. So you like, yeah, you 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 like to you like to lay down some fucking R and B. Oh yeah. You just get, you just hit that mood, and you're just like, dude, dude. I don't know what, what should I do with this energy right now? Should I fucking lay down a hard R and B track, or should I yeah. pop open that fucking? Dude, I have methods for recording. So like, okay. if I want to record something like, like not like harder, but like something more like, like on some pimp shit, mm -hmm. like top down, I'll jerk off before I record. Okay. But when I want to do something like that. I gotta get like to peak horniness on some overflow, <laughs> but then I won't. I won't jerk, and then I'll record. Yeah, dude, I played that for Day Planner Girl. I played. We took a break for Day Planner Girl. She was fucking with it. Oh hell yeah, dude! So you're pretty much just like, all right, I gotta lay down some fucking hard RB shit. I gotta edge myself. Yep. <laughs> and then hop in this fucking booth. Push and it to the very edge. The engineer in the fucking. Booth. Oh, we were just sitting there, just like. Yeah, it's just, it's part of his process. You know? <laughs> I'm just like sitting like, like just like intently watching porn and like, just like, he's an artist. Alone. Just, it's, it's cool. Honestly, I mean, yeah, dude, he's paying, he's paying, so. He does this twice a week. <laughs> he's he's about to, he's about to, yeah. I mean, it seems weird now. Yeah. Wait till he gets to the booth. Then you're just be like, oh shit. Dude, I've met some rappers with stranger uh, techniques. Yeah. Like okay. Recording techniques. Like I was in the studio this tell. one time, shout out Kid Prophet. Kid Prophet, only. Jesus, all right. Dude, he hasn't released in a while, like I really wanted to. I think he's going to soon, too. I'm so is he, uh, where is he, is he from, like? He's a, he's a Brampton boy. Oh, shit. You already know. Oh, shit. You, you already know, fam. You know, you know. dog? Um, yeah, but he, like, this one time we were in the studio, and this dude brought, uh, we were like, bring snacks. He's like, okay, this dude brought, like, a half bring, bring snacks. <laughs> yeah, all right. like, I always, I always paid for, like, McDonald's or some shit, yeah. like, for the homies. So this dude was like, okay, he brought, like, a half-eaten bag of, like, Tostitos. 
<laughs> just grabbed out of like his mom's cupboard. That ass. Yeah. And so like we, you know, or no, he bought them and then like started eating them on, on the, the way, way on yeah, the walk yeah, yeah. as he should, like a yeah, king. Yeah. But so he got into the booth and started recording this one song and uh, dude was just eating Tostitos. Like he kept Tostitos in his mouth while he was recording. And then I went to record after and like the whole fucking booth just smelled like, like Tostitos. <laughs> <laughs> it was really fun. What the fuck? Yeah. Out of all things to buy. Right? Just... Just regular, just like dry, raw dog in those. I mean, tostitos. I mean, like I'm kind of, I'm into. I don't know if I could do it with Tostitos, but I like the. I'll fuck up just the regular, um, like the the tortilla chips, but oh, just yeah. um, keep fucking keep pasta ones. Yeah, dude, they yeah. fucking they smack hard, bro. But like Tostitos, I don't know. It's I don't a know. lot of chip. Yeah, like, like and it's dude, they're nothing. they're pretty fucking dry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm imagining this guy was not the most sober dude. He was very sober. He's a, really, he's a, yeah. Um, if if nothing's changed, he's still a very devout Christian. Oh, yeah. so the you know prophet thing is not a uh, not like a you know. I th I think it's like playful in a sense. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't like asked him about his name actually. I should did you meet him through music? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Met him through Shep, the uh, engineer and producer. Okay. So these are all guys you, uh, so you started doing music back in, uh, back in, in, in Ontario. Oh yeah. And then what made you move out here? Acting. Oh shit. Okay. I took the one year program at VFS for acting. Yeah. So I got scanned and then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, was it Brendan said he did that too? Washburn? Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Haley's doing it now too, eh? Who's, which Haley, one? uh, Garceau. Okay. I think I, I think I know who that is. And, uh, <laughs> she texted me today. Like she or like messaged me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. She was like, "Hey, I'm doing a singing class right now, and they played your presentation." I was like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah. all right." <laughs> your presentation. What was your presentation? Um, I I had to sing "Luck Be a Lady" from Guys and Dolls. Okay, I don't know it, but it's like I don't, I'm not gonna sing. <laughs> yeah, it's, but, but it's, please, you uh, the, you have the floor. It's like, <laughs> do be it, a lady tonight. Do it. Do the whole thing oh, for yeah, us right dude, now. I can't even remember the uh, whole thing, and I'm glad I yeah. can. <laughs> But it was so Bro, he's funny. lying, dude. He yeah, knows every yeah. word to that fucking song. Um, damn, that's hilarious. They just played <laughs> the fucking class. Um, yeah. But yeah, you're not the first person to say that, that that fucking... Uh, School is like... Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so then... Uh, did you do acting before that? Uh, here and there. Like, yeah. I, like, I was in, like, drama programming. Yeah, high school and you were just and like, I want to fucking, you know, just try it, so... Yeah, like, I, 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 I can see myself living off of art. Like, I've been... Mm -hmm. Like, my mom always really supported it, too, which is, like, a huge, like, huge important thing. Yeah. Um, so, like, you know, she was just like, yo, like, if you want to chase this shit, like, go for it. Yeah. I'll, I'll support you. I was like, Damn. freaking sweet. That's fucking sick. Shout out Maureen. <laughs> Shout out Maureen. I hope to God she's not listening to this podcast, though, because she's just like, start, like, let's talk about hentai. Start like, at the, like, 40 or the 30 minute mark <laughs> mom <laughs> not before that please um that's good i feel like that makes a that makes a huge difference for anybody yeah. doing anything um and like like i mean yeah, yeah i know people that have like are were like super fucking talented and they were just like they're and i mean it also they you know it's their choice to fucking give up and to you know listen and like not fucking pursue it fully but like where they're just like their parents were just like all right well no you have like you know we'll give you like one year to you know go out and do it and if you, nothing happens then like then you know we need you to like whatever like take things seriously and get a job yeah. it's just like bro one year yeah like what the fuck do you think's gonna happen Did us. like in a year he's just gonna like what fucking you know host the grammys like what are you talking about like th that's not how anything but then like i don't know some parents are just like scared i guess yeah. but like but then also like what's the alternative mm -hmm. you get like what are the chances that you end up in like a you know like a fulfilling job or like something you then so it's just like all right we'll just i don't know get a job that you know you can drag out that pays yeah. you enough fucking buy a house that you have to pay for for the next 30 years and then just you know fucking die like the rest of yeah, us like that's it's, like, it's, it's like dude, boring, it's dude. Like, dude just let your kid fucking out. who cares if he's homeless for a couple of years or whatever if he's yeah. just doing what he wants to do yeah dude like if you're happy like you know, it's not all material, right? Yeah, exactly, bro. And, like, some kids, some people are built, like, you know, don't give a fuck that yeah. they're, like, you know, they're just going to have to struggle 
and just take their time to fucking figure it out. And yeah. um, as long as they're just doing the shit that they want to do, I think like, I don't think, cause I don't think I was really like fucking clear about it with my parents of what I wanted to do. Yeah. In general, I just kind of, it was just like all like in my head. And then, mm. so like, and then I was just like my, like my idea right from when I was fucking like 18 was that I was just going to come out here and, uh, and fucking just start doing comedy. And it took yeah. way longer to get there than I, I would have liked. Mm. But, um, yeah, my parents were like, you're not fucking going like going out because I wasn't just, I didn't, wasn't going to say that to them because yeah. that would be insane. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. To, the, the, like it took until like maybe six months ago. And like actually even just like the last like couple months, um, where my like at least my mom has kind of come around and just be like, Okay, like I see you're like actually, you know, doing things and like I can kind of see what it is. Yeah, dude. But like before that it was just like if I was to just flat out say to them that I'm gonna go to Vancouver and just do comedy, they'd be like what do you, what do you what is what does that even mean? Are you fucking insane? Yeah, they just be like this kid's retarded. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like now you're definitely not going. Yeah, there. we need to put you in a program. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you're not going to Vancouver at all. You're going into a home. Yeah, um, like but um, yeah. So like my mom was just like that was just my plan from the get go. Then my mm -hmm. mom was like, well, you have to do something. Like you can't go out there like without uh like any sort of I don't know like fucking like school reason, or yeah. like anything and she's like you need something to do out there you can't just go out there and like i don't know she was like you can't just go do nothing which i was like i'm i, don't know, I can you don't even fucking need anything but i was like okay whatever took some bullshit college program ended up uh just like getting like a fucking college thing and just like pretty much like fitness so i just do like personal training which is like i guess enough yeah. For her. Sweet. <laughs> Two years. I was in and out. And then I was just like, I then, uh, I like completely sabotaged the thing. I was supposed to like, I was supposed to go over to, uh, there was like an extension on the thing where you can go and do like, like a year and a half or something and like turn it into a degree in like fucking yeah. Ireland. Oh. And it was like, it turned it into like a fucking, some sort of like sports science degree. And my mom was pumped about that. Oh. And then I fucking sabotaged it last minute. Yeah. <laughs> And I didn't tell her that I sabotaged it. She just thought that I fucked up, God but damn. I did it on purpose. What, how did you sabotage? The last, cause I already had all the credits that I needed to just, um, take like this super extensive fucking personal training thing. Yeah. Um, but if I didn't complete the program, which I had one last thing and I just had to submit this video and, uh, submit the video. And then that was it. I was, I was done, but I fucking submitted the video or, Actually, I don't think I submitted the video, oh, and then that and that was like the majority of the grade. So then they were just like, "Yeah, like you didn't submit the video." And then I was just like, to my mom, I was just like, "I, I, I submitted it. Like I fucking don't know what happened." And uh, and then she was just like, "So like you, so you're like you didn't like technically complete the program." I'm like, "Well, it doesn't really matter because like I can still just like I can still get like the certification, certification. and like yeah, da, da, da. but um, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to you know go do the whole like degree in the Ireland thing. And she was just like kind of upset about it. And then I was just like, it's fine, you yeah, know? <laughs> it's fine. Now I'm here. Guess, and then, but like... also, guess what? Six months I'm gonna be moving. <laughs> and then yeah, and then I fucking came out here and just uh went fucking super deep into uh being an alcoholic, which was fucking pretty sick. <laughs> I did that for a couple of years yeah. and then uh, didn't do comedy at all. Cause I was just fucking like, I don't know. I was just fucking, you know, yeah, just like, I was not in a place to, that would have been terrible. Yeah. That would have been so bad. There's some comedians who are still in that place. Yeah. And you see them, you're like, oh, yeah, it's just like, open mics. Yeah. It's like, man, you should probably take, you know, <laughs> come back when you're <laughs> in a good, cause yeah. it's already such a ridiculous, like, and fucking difficult thing on you like mentally and yeah. like personally oh, yeah. to, to like try and do that and stuff. And like, you're just like setting yourself up for so many, so much, I don't know, just like fucking whatever, like ridicule and judgment. If you're like in a fucked up headspace mentally and you're just like drunk and on drugs, it's, I can see it can go bad fucking quick. Oh yeah. Dude. And it yeah. always does too yeah. for those folks. I feel bad. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's tough watching the fucking, just my mental breakdown. Yeah. I've seen a few on stage and yeah. it's just like, Okay, we're gonna talk about like you know getting a prostate exam now, guys. Hope you're on board. Like, hope everyone's on board for more fun now. After <laughs> that person literally just had a meltdown, and it's like an adult. It's so it's it's crazy. Um, it's like when something goes wrong on like um, fucking the like Krusty the Clown show on The Simpsons. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Krusty just comes on. He's like. 
Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, something like fucking nuts happens. And yeah, you're supposed to come out and just be like, all right, let's continue on with the comedy show. Hey. Huh? <laughs> um, but yeah, so like, I mean, that's fucking awesome that your mom, like right from the jump is just like, hey, like, you know, art, you know, cool. You should fucking go ahead and do it. Hell yeah. Was anybody in your family like kind of skeptical of just, I don't know, you pursuing anything like that? Uh, I think every, like everybody in my immediate family was pretty su- like very supportive. Actually, Jesus Christ, this is it fucking was, this is insane. Yeah, it was great. And then like I moved out here, and like my uncle, uh, he lives in Kits. Okay, cool. So, like, oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. We, we were hanging out for a bit, and I think he's like pretty supportive of it because mm-hmm. he knows like I'm still like making money. Like I'm not like yeah, you're not doing broke. nothing. Yeah. yeah, and uh, I don't know. If my dad was around, I'd hope he'd like support it. <laughs> like, he might be looking up at me and being like, ah, but. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, we'll uh, based on the rest of the family, we'll say you definitely, uh, definitely supportive. Yeah, that's um, that's fucking nice, man. Yeah, um, yeah, man, dude. If you fucking some family, yeah, it takes like for those people that just like are their families are just like no, like what the fuck are you doing? And then they're just like, I mean, whatever. Yeah, they just like st- that's so much strain on the fucking relationship for oh, like yeah. no reason. Going home for the holidays. Yeah, sucks, I really. know. And then people are just like, dude, especially like now, it'll be it'll get it'll get weird for me now. Maybe I yeah. think because like, I think already, uh, um, just like I just put so much shit out on the internet. Yeah, <laughs> that, that like it just I like I, I mean it's a fucking podcast. We're just saying fucking ridiculous wild shit. Yeah, just like and so like. I mean, come on. And you got to try and, you know, you got to try and fucking take some swings. Yeah, man. So you got to say, you got to say some stuff. Yeah, dude. And, uh, you know, it's all a good fun. But then, like, your family who's just, like, you know, known you your whole life and then the then no idea you're doing fucking comedy. They barely even know what comedy is. Yeah. And then they're just, like, they just see you online screaming into a microphone. I don't know, calling somebody a fucking, like, rusty cunt or something. Yeah. And then they're, like, what the? Aiden's having a fucking mental breakdown. <laughs> he's destroying his life. He's, not gonna, he's never going to be able to, you know, get a corporate job. Oh no! Oh no! Fuck! Um, you know what sucks about acting still is that like, cause like you know, with like corporate jobs, it's like don't get tattoos. But mm-hmm. even with acting, like can't get fucking tattoos. Yeah. I still, I like, I have some like on the torso, but like it's like hidden. Like it yeah. has to be like I can't get anything. Like you can't go for forearm tattoo guy until I'm like a, a little more established. I yeah. Guess. Have you what kind of what kind of like have you been getting some acting work? Acting work. I wrapped a short film shoot a couple of weeks ago, which oh, was yeah. fun. Like, what kind of shit? Like drama? It was a. It was actually a comedy about comedians. Oh shit! Yeah. What kind of like? I mean, I don't know if you're allowed to. I, I think I am. Yeah. Like, what's like the kind of the fucking like idea of the thing? Like, what are the comedians doing? So it's like, um, is it just like their life? Like, like yeah. It's it's like uh, it's about this one. Person. I don't want to say okay. too much. It's yeah. about like this one person who uh, is like trying to break into the comedy scene. I'm playing like the also newish best friend. Okay. Um, and then there's like some adversaries that are like pretty much trying to keep this person out of the uh, out of the spotlight. And right. It's like them sh- like proving their worth. Okay. Like earning their stripes yeah. and shit in the scene. Actually, Jackie wrote it. Jackie Agnew. Oh, really? Wrote. Yeah. Oh, nice. Fuck yeah. That's um. That's sick. And then. Uh, then yeah, like, what do you, like, then I guess, what's, I don't even know the process of any of that, then you just, like, submit it for film fucking festivals. film festivals, and, like, how long is this shit, how long do they run? It was, like, it's a short film. Yeah, it was, like, 11 pages, I think, but we added in some extra stuff, the director, uh, <clears throat> the director gave me, uh, a joke that he wrote to, uh, say on stage, and that was, like, done really last minute and I kind of like didn't memorize it all so I did it and like yeah. I made it through but it wasn't really great and then he was like you want to try some of your shit I was like hell yeah yeah so I told like this I have like this bit that I've been working on about getting a prostate exam like I said earlier yeah I Wh- told that and why have you chill. got why did you get a prostate exam I don't know why I think it's like is your doctor just into you my doctor was Indian, actually, because it was in Brampton. But yeah, um, no, okay. <laughs> that's hilarious. But I, <laughs> was your doctor into you? Oh, into me. So oh, he I was just like, Indian. yeah. I was like, Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's a strange question, but yeah, he was. I mean, the, ch- the chances that it was an Indian person, but uh, yeah, but, uh, um, yeah. He was just like, you know what? I'm gonna lie to this kid and be like, 
Dude, uh, sorry, man. We're going to have to shake your prostate. Oh, I mean, I know it's usually when people are 50, but I mean, I don't know. I can just tell you got a... You got you got some inf- inflammation going That's on down a there. Flamed prostate. I've ever seen. Let me massage that. Real quick. No, uh, I I like I don't know why I always have cancer scares. Like I had like a one, really yeah I had like a prostate cancer scare when I was like seventeen because I was what like is it, what class as as the scare like like just showing like symptoms of like. It's kind of gross. I don't want to like. Get into <laughs> okay. Some symptoms. Symptoms. Or, we'll leave it at symptoms. Yeah, we'll leave it at symptoms. <laughs> and I like told I like. After like six months of it, I was just like, hey, mom. And I like, told her, and I was like, I think I should go get a prostate exam. She was like, okay, great. Okay, great. I was like, what? <laughs> okay, great. And then I was Fuck like, yeah, let's yeah. go. Yeah. So like, I was like, do you know like what a prostate exam is? She was like, yeah, don't they just like jiggle things around a bit? And I was like, fucking no. Oh, like your balls, she was thinking? Yeah, or she like, thought yeah. it was like just the nuts. Yeah. And I was like, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> that, no. that would be nice. Told her what it was, and then um, she was like, Jesus, and like, I I, I don't want to spoil all the jokes. So I won't say yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I went yeah, in, yeah. And, and I I was examined, mm-hmm. and uh, just got to eat more fiber, she said. So I was like, fucking Dude, sweet. straight up, Sounds like fucking most doctors are just making shit up, bro. Yeah. Like, you'll go in with the fucking crazy, like, like, also, they could just be like, <laughs> they always leave you with some bullshit like that. Yeah. Like, they could just be like, nah, like, it's, I, yeah, I, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like cancer. Dude. But then they're just leaving you just be like, yeah, just, I don't know, up your vitamin C. It's just like, yeah. What? It's like a placebo. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? It's like, based on what? What, what will that do? It's like, I don't know. Just get out of here. What, like, <laughs> what, fucking, what does mind. it matter? I'm a family doctor. <laughs> Dude, it's like it's like those like 1800s doctors that are like, you got bad blood, boy. Yeah, yeah. Gotta drain yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Like they, Dude, family doctors, I've said it before on this podcast before, family doctors ain't shit, bro. They fucking, they're basically just secretaries for like specialized doctors. They just come in and they just like see you and they're just like, yeah, all right. I'll I'll set you up with. I got a friend that you know he 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 knows more about this. He'll be able to help you. It's just like, well, what do you do then? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you do? Yeah, well, and then it's like, ah, I don't know. Just eat fiber. So it's like, can I get some Percocet? Still, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I, I, he just writes prescriptions and books appointments for his more yeah. his smarter friends. Yeah, family doctors ain't shit, bro. Nah, bro. And they fuck people are always. Oh man, you know, thank your doctors. Yeah, I mean, real doctors. Family doctors are people that just given up. <laughs> <laughs> Go for the full degree. It's going bad on fucking doctors. Um, oh, speaking of fucking doctors, and oh, that's hilarious. This that, that works out perfectly. Segway, for this. Segway. It works out perfectly for this fucking video. <laughs> Violent. So this lady got some, uh, I guess some, you know, some doctor wrote her a prescription. Oh. And uh, it's coming with some side effects. Okay. That uh, she, uh, you know, she's she's a little concerned about. Y'all ever taste this drug called Vyprexin or something like that? The doctor started at me on it, and it makes me violent at night when I wake up out of my sleep. <laughs> Anybody else ever have that problem with this medication? Anyone can tell me anything about this medication? Because FYI, I'm not taking it if I gotta wake up and be that violent in the morning. I mean, I woke up in the middle of the night trying to break my neck, break break all kinds of things, and that is not like me. That is not and like me. My family and I, I and the doctor not. seems to think it's an uh, adverse reaction from this medication. Anyone else have any kind of adverse reaction? She's also just like this gunning medicine? it on this road. She's driving. Like I thought she was in the fucking passenger. <laughs> she's driving. What the fuck? Dude, yeah, just, you can see her arm just like gun- yeah, just Holy shit. gunning it. You can hear the engine. Like, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's like the way up challenge. Can you ever let me know how What's that? Started from the bottom, now we way up, way up. It's like this challenge where people would drive like 200 and just sing the song to the camera instead of looking at the road. Oh my god, bro. That's why is that a challenge? What the fuck? It's challenging, like yeah, it's it's death defying. But why would you do that? That's crazy. That's true. <laughs> It's fucking wild. Dude. Yeah, but yeah, this lady's fucking hilarious. She's just like, yeah, does anybody else get fucking violent off of fucking whatever, prolaxin? She's yeah. like, I wake up, I'm trying to break my neck. <laughs> that is not that like is me. not like me at all. Such I'm a white a- people think to say. <laughs> that's not, that that's is. Like, like in a horror movie when yeah. they're like looking at their daughter who's like contorting and like pissing onto the wall. <laughs> and they're just like... That's not like that Sally. is that is not like her. It's weird. Yeah, she, she wouldn't. Un- she would not. You know, she she would not do something like Did that. Did the doctor prescribe her something? <laughs> is she taking like, prolax? Yeah, it's, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. That, yeah, nobody else would say that. Just, no. That is just absolutely not like me. I woke up and woke up in the middle of the night, and I just 
beat the shit out of my daughter with a frying pan. That is not like me. I would not, I've never done that before. <laughs> Sounds like you're in like a court trying to deny. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that is just, uh, that is just, uh, that is just uh, I'm just perplexed by this. That is, uh, <laughs> believe me. My mustache is like yeah. preposterous. <laughs> that is preposterous. <laughs> that is not like me at all. Yeah, what the fuck? I would never do something like that. Why? I would never. <laughs> I'm insulted by the accusation. <laughs> you think I'm mad of my statue? <laughs> That's <Of> my moxie. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, sir, it's absolutely was you. We, yeah. we, we, we have you on camera. Yeah, we got him. We got him. It's like, all right. Well, I, I tried. Yeah. Just look back at the family. I tried. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Did my best. Disney this year. <laughs> you know, Disney. Dad's going away for a long time. <laughs> uh, What's Seafood Jack? Seafood Jack, bro. This guy, this guy follows me on TikTok. Oh actually. shit! Yeah, he's uh, <coughs> he's he's here. I'll just show you. Okay. <laughs> he's fucking. I don't know what he's doing, bro. You work. You work out. You work out, guy. Occasionally. Occasionally, occasionally. you're an occasional guy. Are you? Yeah. Uh, are you? Um, do you have those? You got good genetics where you don't really have to work out too much. Yeah, like, I, I keep pretty fit. Oh, yeah, so okay. You got the fucking, yeah. The scrawny pack. Yeah, so, yeah, you don't, like, do you even if you, like, eat like shit, you don't really, like... Not you know, right you now. You don't really show it? Eventually. Eventually, yeah. yeah I got a few more years. A few of, more like, years. Good fortune. Yeah, here. okay. Well, this is uh this is Seafood Jack, and, um I mean, he's, he's I mean, he's a lifelong, lifelong fitness guy, and... uh Holy shit. Hi, everybody on TikTok. It's Seafood Jack. Whoa. I just got done with my workout, and... uh been working out since I was 13. A lot of people ask me, "Look at that seafood neck. jack? How old are you?" I could love that neck. Fucking crazy. I honestly never even looked at that before. His shoulders look like they fell like about like six inches. It's all that deadlifting. Yeah, they used to be so much higher in his whole fucking bro. I can't bro, unsee you. He, like, he looks like the next Resident Evil villain. Like, Fuck, I wish I I fucking wish I understood that reference. Right, like, Is there one with just like a big ass neck? I don't know. They just look like all disproportionate. This yeah. dude's like got like the saggy tits and then like dude. the fucking like long ass neck. Dude, no I, disrespect to seafood jack. No, of course not. A hustler. I mean you can clearly tell he's also a fucking you know respected world champion look at the oh, trophies in the back oh yeah um, yeah bro okay yeah he's got that he's got that fucking hardware stacked um but yeah oh my god i can't believe i didn't even notice that before i'm i can't stop looking at it now <laughs> i'm not i'm 73 as of january 5th been working out in sports training olympic training for decathlon for the olympics Never made it. I had to be over 200 pounds for the heavy events like shot put, gel, and discus. <laughs> it's so funny to just be like, I was training in a fucking decathlon. Never made it, but <laughs> just brings it up anyway. I was trying, I was trying for a while. But Got to I've been training <laughs> martial arts since 73. And then also... He just, dude, he just turns the camera on. Walks over into the middle of his living room and starts giving you his history of, of the activity he's done. I've been working out for it since I was thirteen. It's like, what is it? What is happening here? I feel like these are the people you meet on the bus that just yeah. like tell you your life story. I legit bro. had a guy on. Um, I used to fucking. I worked when I first moved out here. I worked at a gym on Davy Street. Bro. Oh shit! Okay. I like. And, you know, you hear stories about fucking, you know, Davy Street before you even, like, move to Vancouver. And it's like, oh, yeah, it's, you know, like, super gay street in Vancouver. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, how gay could this place be, right? <laughs> how gay are you? I mean, how gay could it possibly be, right? I get there. First day, there's just, like, some some person. I'll be safe. There's some yep. person who is about, like, six foot four, giant, so jacked, and just a set of fucking massive tits nice. and with like lipstick on and like the, and like basically wearing a wig and i was just like oh okay it, it can get real <laughs> real gay here i was like i don't even i, I was not expecting that i was like oh, oh maybe shit. just you know some guys in some short shorts which is just like hey i like i like yeah. to get i like to get the thighs out yeah, yeah. you know uh, <laughs> i'm not gonna i don't find that weird oh, yeah. but then yeah, i walked in there and i saw that person i was just like oh okay we can we can get wild on Davy Street. We getting gay. Yeah, we're getting Street. gay on Davy Street. Okay, shout I see out what's all the up. Gay homies, bro. Yeah, shout out the gays. <laughs> <laughs> just just all of them. All of them. Dude, they are like I love like I love having gay homies. 
Everybody thinks I'm gay because they're like, oh, he's emotionally intelligent. He's 19. Nah, he's, no. he likes dudes. But like, <laughs> d- like, gay homies are some of the best fucking friends you'll ever have. Because, well, first of all, you don't fight over girls. And they ally the shit out of you. Like, they wingman hard. Yeah. It's fucking incredible. Dude, I got a fucking, I got like, I got, you know, I got homies that are super gay, but they're not gay. Yeah. 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 Which is just like, I mean, that's, that's unfortunate. Right. I need, uh, I need some, I need some legit gay friends. Yeah. But so I, I used to take this bus from here pretty much and it goes all the way down to Hastings across and then into downtown. R5? I, uh, just like a 20 or something like that. Oh, true. true and, true. uh, I get on there. It gets down to Hastings. It always gets interesting going across there from, from Hastings from commercial here down to downtown. Some guy gets on the bus with, a fucking with he's wearing workout gloves oh. and he's just drinking a beer. It's I was headed there in the morning. It was probably seven a.m. Shit. And he just sits down next to me, and I don't know if I was like wearing my I must have been wearing my gym stuff or something because he just dives into this fucking thing about how he used to be a weightlifting champion, and he's just like he's like I could teach you, you know. He's just like he's like I could he's like I could teach you. He's just just slugging this beer back at seven a.m. Oh, just haggard as fuck, and, and, just, and he's wearing the workout gloves still. And he's just like yeah, he's like yes, yeah, yeah. It doesn't look like it now, but in the nineties, he's like I was I was a weightlifting world champion, and he's just like he's like, I could dead. He said some insane number that like I don't even. I, I, I was just like I don't think even like to this day anybody's lifted that and he's like i i, I lifted probably about fucking four thousand pounds it just says something like crazy and then he's just like yeah i could teach you you know he's just like he's just like if you got you know a couple times a week and i'm just he wants your bus bro and I'm, just, I'm just sitting on the bus beside him just like <laughs> I, yeah man oh for real ah <laughs> uh, shit that's crazy <laughs> dude they, and it fucking I yeah and I fucked up by taking like I did I should have taken the aisle seat cause I was all, I was at the fucking window seat so he could like close oh, me in no yeah well good thing I'm fucking I'm done with the bus now thank god you drive <laughs> thank god yeah Man. thank god <laughs> took a while I mean I went through I went through the fucking public transit bro oh, it yeah. uh I mean it yeah you know it, it's it's interesting. It's there. It gets fun. It gets it, it, can, it can get fun. I feel like I don't know if I I've definitely like I've done it a lot in uh like in Toronto, but I've done it more like Toronto's got to be fucking nuts too though for that. Like I never actually I don't think I've ever really taken Toronto buses. Were you were you bussing around? I was bussing. Yeah, uh, bussing. No, I, I like I bust a little bit like in like the later years. Uh, yeah. I spent more time like downtown. Uh, bussing and stuff. And <sighs> was it fucking? Would, would you would you say it's like crazier than here? I think here's crazier. Yeah, like with like our po- like our homeless population. You just there's so many yeah, characters. Yeah, that you're just like holy shit. Yeah, that's true. M- motherfuckers will move on to the bus, bro. Yeah. So like the, like the bus will pull up and they'll just start hauling like fucking like crates yeah. of shit onto the bus, and then they just and then they fucking get like they go like two blocks up the street and then they take it all off. Yeah. It's fucking. I don't understand what's happening. I know it's so weird. I feel like they just like hop on and they're like, I don't know where I'm going. Yeah. They're just like, well, you know, like something to do. Yeah, when you're a nomad, it's just like yeah. fucking do your thing, bro. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Uh, yeah. But yeah, man, that guy, like, dude, I, I'll never fucking forget that guy. That guy, that guy just give me the rundown on, uh, bro. I was like, I was like, what is what is happening right now, man? <laughs> um, Nuts. All right, well, uh, we we're at an hour here. Maybe we'll end off on this. Um, this is some fun. Uh, some fun. <laughs> this is some fun, you know. Like I don't even. I, I, maybe this is a sexual thing, um, mm. but uh, this lady describes, you know, something that's you know quite interesting. All right. And uh, I don't know. I I could see my personally. I could see myself dabbling in something like this. All right. And I'm not going to say on which end. Oh. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> All but, right. <laughs> I have no master, but I have an owner. My roommate is my owner. I pledged myself to him because I am basically submissive around men. In my culture, men are the rulers, the ones that tell you what to do, how to do, where to do. It's typical Middle Eastern. You're to serve them, Sahib. Giving of a bracelet. <laughs> you are tied to him for one year, and then you either make it permanent, and he would give you a bracelet of steel, or you can say, "I'm going my way." I basically am going to be going my so way. So you pretty much he get a owns- one-year trial on one of these on one of these. Uh- uh, slaves, self-described. Okay. Um, so yeah, you, you know, 
give her a bracelet, try one year trial, see how it goes. Me, but he doesn't excite me. He doesn't want to make me want to do things for him. A slave is always supposed to be naked. So the first thing I do in the house <laughs> is I get naked. I will make him lunch as a good slave who should be doing. I will no longer do his wash. You know, this is what a slave is supposed to do. He does his thing. She'll, she's no, she's no longer going to do his, she'll make him lunch as a good slave is supposed to do, but she'll okay. no longer do his wash. Fuck that bitch. You, are you putting up with this shit? Fuck that? No, she, get her out. She, the, the, you were on trial. Bitch. Yeah. Like no premium shit. Get her out of here. my thing. He's my owner and not my master. To me, there's a big difference between owners and masters. As a matter of fact, there's a I huge love these difference cuts. between I masters. know, right? This you edit's hilarious. master with capital M, loving, caring, protective, and you have the wannabes with a small... Her mouth is You've super zoomed in in the background, too. That's light, hilarious. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. every word and kiss his ass. And you get nothing in return. I do not like to be talked down to or treated Sounds too much like a up. child. Even though I choose to be a slave, oh, but what? this is the way I was taught my slavery. Nobody can control you unless you let them. And even if you let them, they still cannot control you. What? You have to be able to want to control yourself. <laughs> this bitch needs Oprah, bro. Somebody's got to show her Oprah Winfrey. What the fuck? <laughs> she went back and forth a thousand times on everything. She was just like, you must obey all commands at all times, but you should also never let anybody fucking tell you what to do ever. Holy shit. It sounds like she's leaving the slave life. Yeah, I know. It sounds like she's not into it, but then also she's just like, I live for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> She's got like multiple personalities. Yeah, they're just they were just switching out on the fly. Yeah, dude. But where do they even? How do they? How do you even get somebody like that into a room? Get get them mic'd up and just be like, "All right, <laughs> go for it. <laughs> okay. Let us let us know what's up." I, I wonder if she was a bus person. Is she, and um, just like they started talking on the bus. Yeah, and, like, and they were just like. Card. We actually have, <laughs> we got a fun little show. Uh, we're, we're doing. Uh, we'd like you to come by. Hell just yeah. you know, give us some uh, give us some of your ideas on. Um, you think you can, think you could get into any uh, any like slave slave play? Uh I'd get into some BDSM. I could yeah I could do that. Yeah, how crazy? How crazy? Like fucking cause BDSM. There's very many levels. It is. It goes deep. Yeah, and I, that's a that's I, a, <laughs> I, I ventured uh, one oh. night on the hub. Oh yeah, just just to, just just to, to see. see. Yeah, just, it's, it's research. Yep. Yeah, it's research. It's, it's my homework folder. Like, <laughs> um, I may not be in school, but I'm still very studious. Yes. Yeah. I, I think I could get into like, and I've talked about it with uh, with, with the, someone. With, yeah. Someone. I've yeah. talked about it with something like getting into like like some cuffs and and ropes yeah. and shit like that like level yeah. like the very like introductory yeah. shit and then we'll see like yeah yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. Know, I don't want to. Don't want to. Right off the bat, we're just like, can I hang you upside out and yeah. rip you? <laughs> like, like, I don't want to get into like, like full. Like, you're just in a gift. Like, like sex yeah, I'll like try that. it. And you're just fucking swinging upside down in a gift. I wonder. I bet you're wondering how I got into yeah, this. Yeah, mess. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, that's me. Yeah, you just agreed to it. Just like. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll try it out. <laughs> it's just like a hard cut. You're just swinging, <laughs> swinging side to side. 30 minutes later. <laughs> swinging upside down in a gimp suit. Oh, God. Like that scene in Pulp Fiction, the fucking gimp that gets like sliced up. Oh, shit. I've never seen it. Oh, no. He gets hung. It's so fucked. There's like. He's in the gimp suit and he gets hung? Yeah. So Damn, like um, John Travolta. Or no, Bruce Willis. Uh, Bruce Willis is like with this other other guy, I can't remember his uh, actor's name. His name mm. is Marcellus Wallace in the movie. Mm. And they're like, they get kidnapped by these two dudes. And they're like, they're fucking them. Bruce, <laughs> like Bruce <laughs> Willis is them. like, he would be next. But then he wakes up. He's got a ball gag in his mouth. And he just fucking like hangs this dude in a gimp, grabs a katana from upstairs and slices up the oh, other two shit. guys. Oh, shit. Dude, it's so metal. Yeah. So it's metal. so metal. It's fucking metal, dude. Like <laughs> using a katana to slice up like a gimp and two yeah. fucking like bad dudes. Yeah, two know, dudes. Like, that, so wait, the, the, the gimp guy was like, he was a part of the, the fucking, like he was doing the fucking? I think he was like, he, he was like just like their... Resident gimp, like, like uh, he was, Channing he was there, he was there, the he end. was there, yeah, he was their slave, yeah. yeah, yeah, nice, that's good, that's good shit. <laughs> you got it, <laughs> dude. That's fucking. Oh my god, I wonder. I feel like, I don't know if this is true. I feel like sometimes, um, I feel like my girl, like, will like, 
throw, th- will like throw stuff out there just to like just to get feelers on just see see where I'm at. And <laughs> so I just I just wonder if I was to just be like, all right, you know what? Free for all. I wonder I wonder where it would go. Dude, but then dude. also terrify because I will end up as that person maybe potentially. Yeah, possibly. As the <laughs> in the gifts. Okay, okay. Pegging. Yeah, see, like I don't know. I've never I I, I don't think I have any interest in uh in being, you know, inserting anything into me. Yeah. I just I, I just like and I mean I don't have anything against if honestly if that was like if that if I thought that that would be fucking sick I would have no, yeah. I would have no problem about it. I would have no problem being like, yeah, dude, I fucking love, you know, getting pegged. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, but I Speaker just, I, yeah, I'm exactly. What, what do I give a shit? Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, 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 I'm the weird guy. But yeah, you know, yeah. oh, I'm weird because my girlfriend fucks me in the ass. Okay. Yeah. Well, all That's right. The weirdest shit you've ever heard of. <laughs> yeah. It was way weirder. But um, I just, yeah, I just don't, I just don't think. It, it, like you, just the thought of it is just like I don't I don't want that. Yeah, <laughs> it's like <fair>. yeah. <laughs> like if anything, even just like kind of comes I, like my natural reaction. Anything comes near my like my fucking ass is just to like yeah and just like fucking move away. So I don't think I'm into. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think my body wants. Yeah, it. dude. <laughs> I think I would be fighting against it just to like <laughs> no, I'm I'm cool with it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, this is fine. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I I like this. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, pegging. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. I'm into that. Yeah, go for it. Just, I would. Yeah, I'd probably cry. I'd scream. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it's. I don't. Two bottles of lube later. Yeah, and then it's, we're still like. <laughs> we're still at square one. We're just, yeah. I just everything's just wet, and I'm just like, I'm just sitting there crying. Just, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like that scene, you know, uh, South Park, the stick of truth, the video yeah. game, the yeah. fucking sphincter. Level yeah, 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 yeah. Get the probes out of your Yeah, ass. yeah. What about you? What would you like if somebody girl brought that up? Let's just say you fucking you know, girl so hot, you're super into it, and she's just like, maybe she's not even like let me peg you, but she just like brings it up. Yeah. I, like if we've been together for like seven months or some shit, like at that point, very connected. Yeah, I might be like, okay, we'll try it. Yeah. Like, 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 if it'll make you happy. Yeah, if we're on the rocks, <laughs> if we're I'll on run. the rocks, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know. I like, love, hey, I, I love it. Seven months, you're just like, all right. <laughs> yeah. I got my day planner, and I'm like, yeah, it's six months. In 29 days. It was like, like that's yeah. pushing it. Yeah. That's, I don't, I don't think. You're pushing your luck, Yeah, school. <laughs> I don't know you like that. Yeah. <laughs> the next day, you're just like, hmm. It's like 11.59 p.m. Yeah. Like, uh, like, I don't know if we're really that close to yeah. All right. It was like. I get try, the strap. I try. <laughs> get it. It's in the closet. It's like, you have one? Yeah, just in case. Yeah. It's in like a locked chest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like lights that come up. It's like, well, I wasn't going to, you know, I don't want to get into this situation and then not have one. Yeah. You know what I mean? That would be embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. That would be weird. That, that, would that, be, yeah, that would be weird. <laughs> all right, I'm ready to get begged. And it's just like, all right, well, do you like have one? No, I thought you would have one. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, great. Now we don't. Now we don't have a pegging deal, though. Great. Hey, Google. Uh, pegging playlist. <laughs> Play my pegging playlist. Just cuts right to your fucking song. <laughs> <laughs> this is unreleased, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that plays. Google says it. Yeah. <laughs> unreleased. Fucking. What is it? L. L. B. Y. Yeah. L. B. Y. L. B. Y. Unreleased pegging playlist. <laughs> it just starts yeah. from the top and just like. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'm moaning in the mic on that on that song too. So it's just like we're we're getting into it from the jump. That's fucking oh man. Do you think oh man? I mean, I guess you've already you've got the prostate exam. You know, you're not. You know, I know rookie. Yeah, you I know. was an altar boy for six years. So I'm like, no way. You way. were. Yeah. Super fucking. Uh, that's Catholic, right? Catholic. Yeah. Um. Damn, dude. What? How did that? How was just fucking, how was that? What did you do? I like, it was actually like, I, I was, I was a devout Catholic. For really? You were like, in. Still find a connection. Yeah. Um, but like, you know, uh, it was interesting. I like, I was just like at the church one day and then my priest who did never did anything to me. Like, it's a joke. Like he, ne- 
on paper. (laughs) (laughs) Legally, Uh, because of an NDA I signed. After uh, he was reassigned. uh, Yeah. (laughs) No, like, yeah, we were were tight. He's cool. He's a cool dude. Shout out Father Bob. And, like, (laughs) he was just like, hey, man, like, I'm low on, like, I'm low on children. And I was like, dead ass. Let's use different terms. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's a strange way to bring it up, yeah. Bob. Bob. Bob, there's, I don't know if you're aware, there's a, there's a lot of stereotypes going around. I would be. No, would there's ch- this little stigma. Yeah, I would choose some different terminology <laughs> when you're uh, when you're approaching young boys. Yeah, but I like, you know, I, I'd come to mass like. 15 to 20 minutes early, put on the robes. Yeah. And it was like, it was like a two piece like robe fit. Yeah. Uh, hard. And then it was hard. Yeah. It was actually pretty tight. Yeah. And then like, um, I'd like light a bunch of candles and shit. And like, it was like getting ready for a seance. Yeah. I'd like light a bunch of candles, restock the bread and wine and right. water. And then like, just on different like cues, like he'd give us like, under, it was so funny. Like it was like a stage production, like underneath the like priest table, he'd like, do like little hand gestures oh, for yeah? us to like go and like like we'd have to like kneel at like the altar yeah. or like bring candles and like just hold them while he does a sermon, and like it was so much shit. It was crazy. Damn. So you you fucking you did the whole thing. You uh communion fucking yep. confirmation all of it. Oh yeah. Damn, bro. Got my confirmation middle name. What? Yeah, you choose a middle name from a saint. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. What did you choose? Dismiss. Dismiss? Yeah, dude. I didn't. There's a Saint Dismiss. There's a Saint Dismiss. He's the patron saint of thieves. Oh shit. He's hard, dude. He's just like, <laughs> what the know, fuck? Like, okay, you know how like the story goes, like, <laughs> so the legends say that like <laughs> Jesus is chilling on the cross. Well, he wasn't chilling, but like Jesus yeah. was on the cross, yeah. and then there were two uh, people next to him who yeah. were also on the cross, and one was an asshole, and then one was a thief who was like good, and so Jesus was like, "Hey, man, you're coming with me." He was the like, thief, "All right." The thief was good. Yeah, like he was like he was just like he was defending Jesus. Okay. To the other thief. He was like, hey, man, like, this is the son of God. Don't yeah. be a dick. Yeah. Um, and then so Jesus was like, hey, man, you're coming with me. He's like, all right, cool. Yeah. And then that's like his same thing. And then my mom made me like choose like she was like dismiss. No, like you can't be like like thieves and shit. So like I like I was like Michael, but I prayed like like on like the on the spiritual part. I was all like dismiss, dismiss, dismiss. So I just claimed that. Fuck yeah, dude. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, man. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I um. My like, uh, my dad's side's fucking Portuguese, oh, so yeah. my grandma is. I mean, we Portuguese people only live to serve two people, and that's uh, the Lord Savior Jesus Christ and uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, <laughs> who is so good at soccer that he is literally on par. I've seen Portuguese like restaurants and homes that have just like Jesus Christ and Cristiano Ronaldo pictures just like side by side. No. It's the funniest That's shit. Crazy. It's the funniest shit in the world. He's so good at soccer that he's literally put himself on par with Jesus Christ. Dude, it's like the Beatles. <laughs> yeah, it's Holy it's shit. so funny, man. Um, but I mean, yeah, my grandma's my grandma's a crazy, crazy Catholic yeah. lady. And it just scared the shit out of me from when I was young. Just she just had pictures and like statues and stuff in the house. There was like one in the fucking bedroom we would, me and my sister would have to sleep in, and it's just like a Jesus, like right above the bed. And, um, She's always and, uh, and it, dude, and it's fucking, they have to make it one of those pictures where like the eyes follow you. And I'm just like, I was fucking creeped out right from a kid. Damn. And then, um, she tried to bribe me to, uh, to do my fucking communion. Uh, and so I'm like, I don't know, like, how old are you when you do that? Like, you're like eight years Yeah, old. you're like eight years old or something. And she's just like, like, my mom didn't give a fuck if mm-hmm. I, and like, you know, my dad wasn't like pushing it or anything. Like once we moved uh, like away from Brampton, like my dad wasn't like making us go. It was only like any time we were in Brampton, we would have to go. Yeah. Um, but um, so she's just like trying to, so like nobody was like forcing me. But my mom, I remember one time was just like, so like your grandma uh, is, you know, offering you, um, you know, like however much money. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like eight years old. And, yeah. and, and then there was like, I don't know, there was like workbooks or something I had to like go through. Yeah. And then I was just like, I was just like, okay, wait, like I, there's workbooks I got to do. And then it was like, and she's like, she's offering me what? It was probably like a ridiculous amount of money. It was probably like fucking like three grand or something. Oh, but I'm like eight years old. I'm like, what, what, what kind of fucking, you got to put this in like terms I know. Yeah. Like, like, I mean, how many fucking, you know, how many Yu-Gi-Oh cards can I get? Like <laughs> fucking Bionicles. What? Like, I mean, I don't understand any of like, if you were just like, yo, you can fucking buy every Yu-Gi-Oh card in the world with this shit, or you could have every Bionicle ever made. Yeah. I'd be like, oh shit. 
okay, I'm it's on site. I'll do my fucking communion right now. I'll get fucked by the priest. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll hey, give a grand. shit. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll let him be I'll let him at least, you know, fucking, you know, bat my shit around a little yeah, bit. Dude. Yeah, you know. <laughs> we don't have to go all the way, but he can fucking, you know, fiddle around with it. But uh <laughs> but and then I'm just like, nah, like um I was like, nah, I'm good. I don't want to do any of it. And then I like, I don't know. I think from then on she was just like I mean, technically, because it's a super like European Catholic family, yeah. I'm the guy. Yeah. So I'm already I, I automatically just the favorite. Yeah. But um, you know, I think I think I think a part of her was just like, damn it, Aiden's fucking a lost soul. Aiden's going to hell. Yeah, right. he's got like she legitimately like she's like that like Catholic. I, I'm going to hell. Yeah. I we'll assume. There, bro. We'll I assume. Yeah, bro. We'll fucking be there. So so what? Now you have to go to hell, even though you did all the shit. Uh, I don't know. I like, I, I've sort of built my own relationship with God. You yeah. Know? Like I'm not like, I, cause I don't subscribe to the, like the church and how, how fucking wild it is yeah. like, behind the scenes. Like all that shit that they pull is like, it's corrupt. Like, yeah, the whole, it's, they, like, yeah. it's a, it's a government system. It's one of the, yeah, it's one of the wildest organizations that's ever existed yeah. on planet earth. Like it's, oh, it's insane. If not like the most. Like, yeah. The probably the most. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. And, like, I don't know. They just did too much fucked up shit for me to be like, yeah, I want to like, just ride or die with the, yeah, yeah, ride yeah. or die with the gang. Yeah, <laughs> me and my gang for life. Yeah, like, that's gang for life, yeah, brother. Ass. Dude, they're legit. Yeah, they don't fuck around either. They'll mm-hmm. get motherfuckers killed. They'll fucking yep. yeah. That's the hardest gang that's ever been created. World's hardest man. Yeah, Jesus. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus is the leader of the hardest gang in the history of the planet Earth. Um, but yeah, that's. I mean, that's. A, I think that's a you know pretty like modern you know more like younger route to go with yeah. it where you're just like, yeah, okay. Like I'm not somebody that's going to like fucking be like, fuck it all, all of its bullshit. And then just go like super atheist with it. Really like, you know, I see all the, you know, like advantages to it. And yeah. like, I find stuff that works for me, but also I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna devote my life to these fucking, <laughs> to these people. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Exactly, dude. You got to find your own way, like especially yeah. in like our age. How old are you? I'm 25. 25. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah, like at our age, like you, it's it's all about finding yourself. Yeah. You know? Like there there's other things going on, but it's just like uh, you can't find all the time. Yeah. You know? Dude, is you, like is your uh, is your family still like heavy um, with it? Like my older the older members of my family are pretty heavy. Um yeah. except for like my uncle who lives out here. Uh, He's- He's, I, I'm pretty sure he's like pretty atheist. I would assume that, yeah. yeah the, yeah, the, it's very West Coast to like, you know, or like to move out to the West Coast and just be like, you know, I just don't even really believe in organized religion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like I, I found it out here. Like, yeah, organized isn't for me. Yeah, yeah. But then East Coast, everyone's just like, you shut your fucking goddamn mouth and you get to that church right now. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it's so crazy. I have a, I have a roommate who's gay, mm-hmm. and like. His parents back home were, like, super devout Christians. It was so rough. Yeah. Like, and then he came out here, and, like, they pulled a lot of fuck shit, you know, like, with the kid. Yeah. But then he got out here, he was like, wait, I can have guys over? We're like, yeah, son, get some dick. Like, <laughs> yeah, bro. And he's like, just like, wait, hold on. Everyone doesn't want me to burn in hell because yeah. it's like, nah, bro, we want you to get laid, bro. We're yeah, like, yeah, dude, like, we're, we're all we're rooting for you here. <laughs> yeah, dude. Here, use my lube. I don't know. <laughs> like, do you need, I don't know, do you guys, like, do you guys need to get a gimp suits or anything? Yeah. <laughs> what are you guys into? Do you by chance need to strap on? Because like, I have one like in a little chest in my yeah. room. <laughs> I have one. I've only like I mean I was gonna use it, but I mean I've, the girl I've been seeing, we've only been together for like six months. So like yeah. if, if you use it for like a month or so, give it back to me. Just like steam clean it. Yeah, <laughs> just, just steam clean. It. Can you <laughs> drop it off at the dry cleaner? <laughs> That's fucking crazy, man. Yeah, my fa- like dude, it's so funny. My grandma gives so much money to the goddamn church that I'm just oh, like shit. I'm like. What are we doing? What do they need it for? I bro? know it's like they don't need it, and like if you try to explain that to her, like it, like when it's like Christmas time or like anything, and she's just like she like write out fucking checks for like each family. Then there's like the one for the church, and I'm like, yo, that one's probably fucking got the most to be honest with you. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I want to jack that shit because I'm like, yo, that is bullshit. Instead of like our fucking dude, these motherfuckers don't need the money, and and like we're hey. We're your family. Yeah. We're legitimately your family. You're a bag chaser, bro. You got to get that money. Yeah, we're your family. We could do stuff with that. Yeah. You know, maybe we could put ourselves into a, you know, better better situation. We could fucking upgrade this shit. Yeah. Upgrade this whole family operation here. Yeah, dude. 
What are you giving it to? What are you giving it to Saint Anne's Church for? <laughs> Bitch, the PS Five is coming out. Like, I mean, <laughs> are you out of your goddamn mind? Yeah. What, Jesus needs another five hundred dollars. Yeah, well, he's not gonna miss that. Yeah, exactly. Like this motherfucker is just like, I need some Ciroc right now. Poof. Yeah, and like he's got it. Yeah, he doesn't so, need to yeah. go. Yeah, and then there's like, I mean, fucking, and then especially when like the church wasn't even operating, they were yeah. doing like fucking Zoom church. Oh my god! And I know. they're still fucking. People are still dr- people. They had a drop box. I remember that my grandma said this. They had a drop box for motherfuckers to drive by and drop money off into the fucking thing. Oh my god, dude! Bro, people are driving no. by, throwing these motherfuckers cash, dude. They're like, it's crazy. I, it's the best grift of all time. Dude, it's got to be like stripper money. Like, like they, like, yeah, dude. Priests gotta know how to count like strippers. Yeah. Oh, for sure, bro. But then, like, dude, they're definitely. They gotta be siphoning off the top, like. Yeah, it's all cash, pretty Dude, much. Dude, I would if I was a fucking. I, I'm not allowed to fuck. I'm gonna get money. Yeah. <laughs> like, <I'm> like, <laughs> hey, we, we, Jesus, come on, guys. We gotta have some give and take. Man, here. it's tit for tat. Well, yeah, <laughs> come on, bro. Dude, you gotta come on. You gotta give me something, dude. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Um, wow, yeah, just a heavy Catholic upbringing. That's, yeah, uh, that's fucking fun. Went to Catholic school. Did you go to Catholic school? No, I didn't. I well, I started at one. It went in like kindergarten, so I would have been there. But then, oh, like, okay. I don't know. The school got all fucked up. Well, like Saint Rita, where were you? Uh, no, no, no. I, I was. Uh, we had moved up. Oh. Uh, so I was at the school called fucking Saint Noel, and uh, and I was there for like one year or something. And like something fucking happened to the school. There was like some like mold buildup like underneath the flooring, so they had to like rip the whole thing out. So they had to send all the students out to. Other like the other schools, they're like no, yeah, and <laughs> then be corrupt. and then they just lost pretty much like half the people because my mom was like, well, actually, yeah, this is school. This other school is way closer. Like, yeah, and then it's just like I mean, like we don't even really go to church anymore. Exactly. And we live, <laughs> we don't live in Brampton, so like we don't. My grandma's not forcing us to go, dude. It's so funny too. Like I, f- I find like most parents who send their kids to Catholic school are like, I'm gonna get you like some really good values, and like you're gonna learn about religion, and sh- and then it's like. Catholic schools produce the most horny and fucked up kids. Yeah. Oh yeah. So fucked. Yeah. We had two high schools. So we had the put like the fucking regular public high school Mm. down the street from the other one. And it's a small town. We all know each other. Yeah. And yeah, dude, the fucking Catholic like high school just had, I I mean, everybody was, they were, uh, they were fucking nuts. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, just legitimate like fucking maniacs and like people that just like, cause like anybody could go. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, so it's not like they were just like had to be like pe- like church affiliated or like test. Yeah, <laughs> I know. So there's just fucking people who have like never don't even know anything about anything, and they're just like literally been drug addicts since they were twelve. That yeah. are just in this fucking Catholic high school that are like you know just <laughs> high every single day of their life, fighting, smoking bongs, just like yeah. outside of the school, showing sheltered kids about that shit. Like yeah. if you're like if you go in and you're sheltered and religious, like it's even worse. Yeah, you know? like it's I know. ridiculous. And yeah, you have all these kids that are just like, hey, but. Jesus may be cool, but weed. Have you ever smoked a bong? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Talk about a religious experience. You want to get high? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's fucking. You guys, you guys had some wild, some. What was some wild kids from your fucking high school? Uh, wild kids. Oh, there was this one chick. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> like they, everybody called her Blue Raccoon. Blue. Ra- Phenomenal, phenomenal nickname. It's a great name. Yeah. <laughs> it's because she like, she didn't even have blue hair when I got there, mm-hmm. but like she had di- she had done her own hair dye job. Oh. Really shitty. Like she looked like kind of like Sonic. Nice. But like, then she also did like really thick, like, like euphoria eyeliner. Oh. So everybody just called her blue raccoon and this chick would do like coke on the stairwells and shit. Oh. And, like, we all like, did people fuck in the stairwells in your school? It had, it had happened before. Yeah. 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 Like she fucked so many dudes yeah. in the stairwells. Same spot. She yeah. had a spot. She had a spot. Like, Actually, we had a girl like that that had, that had a spot yeah, under the yeah. stairwell as well. Smart woman. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta have your spots. Smart woman. Your but that's, yeah, that's fucking weird. I wonder if like most high schools like had that. There was like a girl that just, you know. Fucked under the stairwell. I feel like it's like a it's like a staple. Yeah, like you need it, or you didn't have a real high school experience. That's so funny. It was just like <laughs> you just hit the principal's office. This, Ryan, I heard you were caught fucking blue raccoon under the stairwell. <laughs> Sir, her name is Katie. <laughs> Shut <on>. up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it, it's Blue Raccoon, yeah. you know. We, we all call it Blue Raccoon. <laughs> oh, you know her. <laughs> they had to gate, like, they had to fence off the blind spots in the stairwell. Yeah. It was ridiculous. That's fucking hilarious, man. I, I think I remember hearing a story about that stairwell, the stairwell girl that was just, like, some guy that was, like, out of high school, like, came back 
and like oh. fuck it, that's terrible. <laughs> And I was just like, I was like, oh my God, dude, just the greasiest shit. Dude, like, I feel like once you're out of high school, you got so many more spots, bro. Yeah, bro, don't go back to the high school and fucking bag some teenager. Dude, in. Like fucking um, Matthew McConaughey. One thing I love about these high school girls, dude, I get older, they stay the same age. Dude, I had a fucking guy that I, I worked with like last year doing this, uh, I fucking quit my one job yeah. and I was like, it was in between. So I got this job just doing some like hardwood flooring thing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, this fucking guy, he's just, just running his mouth the whole time. Some guy is like 45 years old. He's like, he was just bragging about how he like works nonstop. Like it was like awesome. Cool. He's just like, he's like, dude, he's like, yeah, he's like, I work fucking, you know, I work like 60 hours a week. I work fucking duh, duh, duh. He's like, I, I don't take any days off. I work at seven days a week, all this stuff. He's just like, he's like, yep. Yeah. He's like, I just keep working and I'll get that overtime money. Duh, duh. He's like, I bought a fucking house in Mexico. He's just running his mouth about everything. And then he's like talking about, talking about his teenage daughters, like on this no. car, this car ride out. He's like talking about his teenage. All right. You're stuck with them. Yeah. Talked the whole time. I didn't say. I said three words. And, and oh, nice. <laughs> Real? What? Damn. Damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Legit. And, uh, uh, oh, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's just, and then he starts, tell, he starts talking about his teenage daughter. He's like, yeah. Um, oh, what was the one thing he said? He was just like, it was something about like his daughter getting TikTok or something. And he's just oh, like, no. he's like, if I ever saw her dancing on there uh, or something like that, he's just like, he's like, I'd fucking, I'd smash the shit out of her fucking phone. And like, all it's just like all this stuff. So telling me he has teenage daughters. And then we get to this high school and we're like yeah. fucking repairing some like hardwood floor in the gym. And this guy, we walk in, these girls couldn't have been older than 15 years old. So his daughter's age. And this motherfucker turns to me and gives me that fucking line. No. He goes, yeah, he's like, the thing I love about fucking, and he was like straight up like, be, like eyeing them up. And I was like, dude, you just finished telling me you have a daughter this age. And then you see a 15 year old and you're just like, you're like, like straight up, like they walk by and he like gives me a look. And then I was like, so dude, these are children. What are yeah. you doing? What are you wrong doing? With you, what bro? are you doing, dude? Yeah. It was the most, it was the most insane. I like, I couldn't even believe what was fucking happening. He's like, yeah, yeah. High school girls, you know, I keep getting older. They stay the same age. And I was just like, <gasps> I was like, bro, that is fucking mental. I hope his house in Mexico collapses. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you get fucking killed in Mexico. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Like the cartel runs yeah. up on your house and turns uh, it into a trap. Yeah, man. Uh, I couldn't fucking believe it. I was like, dude, there is like, I mean, I'm not surprised. It's, you know, yeah, there's some fucking, you know, there's some bad, it was just some white trash guy. Yeah. I grew up around a lot of white trash. I mean, you're in a small town in Ontario. It's fucking dude. White trash city. Baby. Yeah, bro. It's fucking, it is what it is, man. Yeah. And, um, you know, there's fun white trash where, you know, people are just like destroying themselves and but like keeping it to themselves. Yeah. And then there's people that are like, you know, just destroying themselves, but destroying everyone else's life around them. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, the one, one of them is more fun to watch than the yeah, other. Way, way the way fun. you not get caught up in the fucking. Popcorn <laughs> fun. Yeah, man. yeah. And not get caught up in the fucking twister of just like, oh shit, this is okay. This is crazy. You're fucked up. Yeah, this is, I I feel sick. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. Oh, fuck. Yeah, man. Um, Fuck, I think, uh, yeah, dude. That's like an hour and a half. We're fucking, uh, we'll fucking wrap it up right there. Freaking right. Hell yeah, dude. That was fucking, that was a lot of fun. All right, um, plug your shit and uh, tell tell motherfuckers where you're at. All right, bro. Uh, on, you do you do a lot of shit. I do. Actually, quick before we, uh, before we wrap up there. Okay, yeah. so we like started off. Making making music. What made you? What, what? How did you start doing like just comedy in general? Comedy in general. I was like, I was like sixteen, and my friends were like, "You're funny." So I was like, <laughs> "Okay." Yeah. And then I went to uh, the Yuck Yucks in Toronto. I wrote like a five minute set, like practiced it word for word, bar yeah. for bar, and then just went up and did that. And I was like, "Oh shit!" So you did oh, that shit. first? Yeah, yeah. I did stand up. Um, yeah, like like just. Right off rip. And, yeah. Uh, I was like, oh, this is fucking awesome. Yeah. I did like a bit of improv before that. Okay. Like I was on the, on the improv team, competed Ooh. in Canadian improv games. Oh. Was <laughs> oh, I shit. Some, I actually got some like bitches from that, which was like <laughs> so surprising. I got some improv pussy. <laughs> I did, bro. It was so fun. I'd get like girls who'd add me on Instagram. They're like, hey, I had a friend who knew you. I was watching you in the, in the crowd. And I was like... Oh, really? yeah. oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious, yeah. dude. Uh, that's okay. Fuck, I didn't know that. So you, yeah. So you started doing comedy, and then, uh, yeah. 
And then, so you, you've been, have you been consistently doing both of them at the same time, like music and comedy? Um, well, like I, I, I kind of took a long break from comedy. Like I say, I could say three years cause I started three years ago, but like I've yeah. really been hustling for like about eight months now. Okay. So like, yeah. but yeah, like unanimously doing the two, is that the right word? Unanimously? No, that's like a, that's like simultaneous. A, simultaneously. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, like doing those two. Yeah. Pretty, pretty consistently. Yeah. Like sometimes one overtakes the other for a couple of weeks and then I'm yeah. like, okay, cool. Now I feel more refreshed and I can do the other one yeah, yeah, yeah. with a bit of a clearer head. Yeah. You're yeah. only 19? 19. Jesus Christ. I know. Nice. I'm a fucking child, bro. That's good. You fucking got an early start. At least you're not fucking around. Yeah. You're just like, yeah, dude, I'm doing it and fucking, yeah. that's it. You're just... meeting cool people. Yeah. Fucking you and like all the homies and shit. Yeah. Man. Like it's fun. Like, like shooting sketches for people too and editing that. Like, yeah. It's it's a lot of fun. It's yeah. like a little bit of money. That's sick, man. That's good cuz dude, motherfuckers like especially even like me at 19, dude, I just like I don't know. I would not like you're fucking clearly very just comfortable with just like just throwing yourself fucking out there and just being like, "Hey, man, fucking, you know, whatever." Yeah. Just making shit, putting it out, fucking like a lot of people fucking can't even, you know, release. <laughs> they can't release. They can barely fuck whatever. They can't like go out and be seen in public. And like, especially like when you're young, like I, you know, I know even for me, it took me like, Oh, like a while to be like, you know what? Like, fuck it. Like, yeah. Yeah. And like, I'm, I don't give a shit. And, <laughs> but like you clearly just like right from the you know, time you're 16, you get all somebody was just like, yeah, you're funny. And you're just like, I'm going to go do a set. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to take this to the stage. <laughs> We're taking it straight to Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like, they're just like uh, uh, okay. I mean, I was just kind of like, just saying generally. We you're... were really high, bro. Like, are you <laughs> yeah. sure you want to do that? <laughs> We're going to the top. <laughs> We're going to win this thing called comedy. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. All right. Okay. Yeah. Drop um, your shit. Um, sure. Music name, fucking Instagram stuff. And uh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. So uh, you want to find me on TikTok. You want to laugh at my stupid fucking jokes. Uh, yeah. Go to LBY underscore on TikTok. Uh, pretty fun time there. And then uh, you want to find me on Instagram, hit me up in the DMs. It's uh, cozy underscore outcast, and the A is an X. Uh, and you want to find my music shit, it's LBY Somnum. That's LBY space S-O-M. N U M B on all platforms. Fuck yeah. And he's not uh he's not a shitty <laughs> fucking <Yeah>. white rapper. <laughs> uh, I uh I checked and uh I, I mean against all odds <laughs> against literally every odd he's not, it's uh it's actually like it's actually good music. So yeah, go listen to that. Um and then yeah, fucking hit his DMs and uh you know, if you're a girl that's got you know, seven months of time on your hand and you want to peg them. Yep. Uh, <laughs> hit the DMs. You want to you go full commit, baby. <laughs> yeah, well. All right. Peace out. Peace.